morning, friends. Um, I think it's Wednesday. I am in Madison, Connecticut, uh, southbound off I-95. I, I got off US-1. I think combination of it may have um, combined with 95. Uh, there may have been a s small stretch, uh, but had to get off. Um, worried about somewhat worried about deers and critters and stuff. And it's very dark, pitch dark when you get on remote roads. But there are good sections of US one. It's like three lanes uh, per side. It's just amazing. So it's not what I had imagined uh, as like being Key West or US one up in. Uh, more Maine along the coastal communities and I tell you what anyone want to do US 1 from uh, Fort Kent all the way down to Key West uh, better think again it's not something that uh, I would recommend uh, other than along certain uh, key areas you know like Kennet Bunkport or Key West uh, because the bumper to bumper traffic even during weekday, it's uh, crazy. Uh, all the visitors. Uh, so, well, I got cleaned up uh, at this uh, rest area, state-run rest area with various vendors, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, McDonald's. No, I did not have either. Just coffee from Dunkin' Donuts and had a breakfast bar. Uh, the time right now when I'm recording this is about uh, 624 uh, Eastern Standard Time so when you see this it, it should be shortly I gotta put some miles in today uh, get through the crazy Connecticut New York uh, Jersey traffic uh, I'm gonna try to stick to US 1 I started it and I'm not a quitter uh, although it, it's very tough very tough and uh, my mind is being played right now just thinking about how crazy it is to do US 1 because it's a slow pace and depending on the community whether there's a beach nearby it could be wall to wall of cars you know stop and go type of traffic and that would really bite so I don't know I, I just got my next destination is uh, doing Tale of the Dragon. You know, I gotta have some goals. Tale of the Dragon, from there, going out to Key West and back home. It seems like I've been on the road forever, although physically uh, I am in great shape. Uh, my back is doing fine, although I got, uh, some of you know, I got a slip disc and a couple uh, compressed vertebrae, but I'm doing good. Um, mentally, I'm challenged more because of US 1 and New York traffic, Jersey traffic. I just hate this uh, traffic. That's why I left, uh, you know, most of the big cities that I've worked for in, including Houston. Traffic sucks. It steals away people's precious time out of their lives and they multiply that by a year and multiply that by many years. Uh, that's a lot of precious hours taken away. So, we're going to get through this. Uh, when I get to Key West, I'm going to enjoy a lot of beer. That's my current thinking. I hope I don't just touch the wall and leave. So, I hope all of you are doing great. Uh, weekend's around the corner. Hopefully, I don't get rained on. I saw a bunch of uh, fronts storefronts going al along the Atlantic coast moving towards Atlantic Ocean so we'll see uh, one thing I did realize every single time well not every single time but uh, often enough I'll reorganize stuff and find more practical way of packing stuff on Penny Chief that like I had this is a tripod bag it's got a good uh, Manfrotto tripod in there, which I hardly use. 
was a that was dumb crap hacking this, but I had a purpose. Uh, I had a 4K video camera that I brought along, but hardly used it. Uh, I had it on the saddlebag, and it got really inconvenient when I had to get stuff out of this saddlebag. On the right side, I had uh, my socks and underwear in there, and uh, I needed it this morning to uh, get a nice. Uh, wet cloth uh, bath this morning shampooed my hair as you know in the uh, sink in the restroom Oops, excuse me. Uh, so I just rearranged stuff uh, I got here probably in this parking lot 12 or 1 something like that I can't remember and uh, I got up like uh, 4 4 o'clock 30 something like that uh, I got decent enough power naps in I, I think but we'll see uh, if I get tired of it I'm going to be smart pull to another rest area try to get a power nap but those power naps are so powerful and so necessary including you know not just doing endless miles ride but at the workplace take the time to take power naps um, when I was a manager once I told my staff hey you feel like closing the door, take power naps, go for it. Make you more productive, go for it. So I hope they appreciate that. I used to be a decent boss. You know, I used to, you know, make sure that people worked hard and smart and I also let them go early for, you know, a good day's work, good week's work. Uh, I wasn't the best boss. And I gotta admit, some of the employees weren't the best either so you know it goes both ways working together but I did appreciate everyone uh, working for me do I want to be a boss again I don't think so I like uh, managing myself and that's a challenge in itself uh, it is hot already relatively hot and it's gonna get hotter and it's humid uh, but all gorgeous, no big, huge black clouds or tornado uh, warning like uh, probably Colorado. So we're all good. Uh, I'm all packed, so ready to go. Shut this off, upload it, then we're gonna go. I'm gonna drink coffee while it's uploading. My selfie stick, uh, if you haven't ordered it yet, my natural selfie stick, if you order now, you'll get two for $19.99. Call 1-800. EMR stick. Cheers.